Hey everyone, welcome to an official opening episode of Matriarch Motivation. My name is Julia, I run Pretty Aggressive Industries. I am a certified personal trainer, certified nutrition coach, and certified transformation specialist. I do recovery and resiliency coaching to help people learn how to thrive in this life because simply surviving is bullshit. You are either catching this on Spotify, podcast, um, Google Podcasts, or anchor.com, and you could possibly also be watching this on YouTube with my Christmas tree in the background and my daughter's gorgeous display of uh, artwork that we've put up on the wall. <laughs> so um, I felt like this was a very fitting episode to go through, and this is um, the topic of why why people don't feel ready for change. So as an advocate of self-growth and a coach myself, I've heard all of the excuses as to why people are not ready to not ch to change. They're not ready to change, not ready to get better, get over their shit, get over their damage and change their lives and start putting in the work. I literally have had people tell me, I hope I'm ready someday. So let's get something straight. All of those excuses, I just need to get through. I just want to wait until such and such is done. I have a lot or too much going on right now. I have so much on my plate already. The true issue is you are already not having the resiliency to deal with life. Just basic life. You live in an endless struggle and you are constantly swimming in drama. It's not because your circumstances are difficult. No, this is not, this is how you are perceiving events in your life. These are your toxic tinted glasses. The start of the school year for your kids is not a hard time. You and your partner having an ongoing disagreement isn't chaotic. The holidays are not difficult. Your confusing, undiagnosed, puzzling health problems aren't some sort of calamity. Your recent injury isn't some monumental obstacle. Your ongoing never-ending financial struggle is not what is stopping you from leveling up your life. None of these circumstances are your actual problem. They are not preventing you from being ready to start a coaching program, start reading, start healing, start leveling up, start overcoming or getting through your damage or your bullshit. Your real issue, your true barrier to a better life is your low grade, low level, low skill set in resiliency. This is your ability to actually cope with your circumstances. This is your empty tool bag that is causing you to struggle with everything all the time. When was the last time you actually and honestly felt like you weren't in a crisis? Was it the last time you were on vacation? Was it your high school years? Can you even ever remember a time where you felt like you were bossing it? Like no matter what got thrown at you, no matter how challenging it seemed, you could handle it and then keep thriving despite that circumstance? The worst place to be is with your head underwater so often that you don't get a moment of clarity, where you realize that there are boats and life jackets and rafts for you to climb into and live above that undertow. These are tools, these are life skills, these are coping mechanisms. They take work and practice and effort. I know it looks so hard. It looks just like so much more work to reach one hand up out of the water instead of using both hands to keep clawing your way to the surface. It sounds dangerous and scary to release one hand from reaching up towards your chance. This is your daily and only chance at getting out of that ocean of anxiety, depression, addiction, struggle, narrow vision, and fear. Putting in the effort, no matter where you're at, to start building the skills of resiliency is the only way to stop drowning. It's the only way to get above the undertow. It is not up to your circumstances to change and get easier. This is not what happens. 
It's you who builds your toolbox, learns how to cope and thrive, and gets more skilled at handling life. You use your circumstances as the excuse. It's time to stop placing blame on what's going on around you. Take responsibility. You can choose to be ready for change. Choose to build tools for making your own life easier. It's not your life that needs to change. It's your mindset. This has been the opening episode of Matriarch Motivation. Inspirational speeches and stories for women who need a women's voice in their head to help them level up, to help them push forward. This is one more voice in the choir supporting the women's growth movement and the women's power movement that's happening right now at your doorstep and at your feet. I encourage all of you to take charge of your own lives, to reach out and find growth style knowledge and to start embracing the power that you have within you. You have so much potential to unlock. You just need to find it, access it, and put it to use. My name is Julia. I run Pretty Aggressive Industries. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Pretty Aggressive underscore official. You can find me at www.prettyaggressive.net. And you can also contact me at prettyaggressiverecovery at gmail.com. Over and out.